Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. I'm going to be talking about um, Siren Season 2 and that insane finale of Season 2 was absolutely bonkers and wild. Um, I meant to do this video earlier, but unfortunately I had to work. Um, so, and I had watched the finale of Season 2 right before work, so I wasn't able to do a video. Um, a couple things. First of all, Siren has proved itself to be a very strong, um, fearless, bold, um, diverse, um, inspiring show where it, it <laughs> like, with some of its relationships, it's bold and it provokes um, thought and um, conversation that should take place. Um, so season one was great, obviously, but season two really went above and beyond to be an excellent season. <clears throat> like, Siren is so good, I would... I, I just can't even fathom that it's on the Freeform network. I just, it just feels like a CW show. Um, like the 100 or the Vampire Diaries, something that's like completely different than anything else that's out there and really sticks out to you and is a, a really strong um, story. <clears throat> because the characters, like, you either really love the characters of Siren, or you really don't. Um, the couple of them... Well, I mean... So the main characters act very... Like, everything flows, and it's all natural and everything. It doesn't feel like the writers... Try to get too much into the drama of anything like that, as more as they touch up on more um, topical issues like um, ocean and oil drilling in the ocean and everything, and sonic cannons that uh, um, the stupid freighters use or, or whatever that are very extremely harmful for. Uh, um, our oceans and everything, so, which is, was a huge deal in season two of Siren, and, um, it just, each section of each of the seasons introduced something new and different, like, the first season was... Obviously, they're learning, you know, that mermaids exist, and then they study her, and she's more predatorial, because she's, she as in Rin, because that's the, the main character, the actress that plays for Rin, <clears throat> because in season one, she is more her natural self, but because she's been on land, she's been able to learn things and everything, and let me tell you what, the actress that plays for Rin is absolutely amazing. She is on point, on cue. Um, she is so natural at it. The okay yes always kills me every time she does that. Um, <clears throat> like, she doesn't even think about it. It's just so, it's so natural. It feels like a natural show. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's not like... <sighs> It's not a sci-fi show It's or anything stupid like that. It's, it's a really excellent show. And anyway, so not to give too much away, I will not spoil anything about the finales or anything like that because you have to watch it. First of all, you can watch uh, Siren both seasons on Hulu and on the free format, but I think you have to be like have um like you have to have authenticity or whatever 
hope I said that right. I don't know, it's been a long day. Anyway, you have to be, like, connected to a network like Spectrum or DirecTV. Um, and you have to punch that information, which is entirely stupid. They should do it like the CW and take after the CW's model. That's all I have to say about that one. But the story is so incredible. It is a progressive story. You learn more things. They introduce more things. Um, this uh, season, of course, they brought in the oil rig and the sonic cannons and, um, you know, because those are environmental issues. And, um, you know, the whole mating season of the mermaids and... Um, you have the half-bloods and the pure-bloods, and the finale is just so wild. Um, and I can't tell anybody until they watch it how incredibly and insane, like, so, Siren has been a really good show, a really, really good show. It had me hooked from the very beginning. <clears throat> and, um, then, like, as it goes, you just get more and more connected to the characters and stuff, and season two's mid-season finale, so it would be season two, episode eight, was absolutely insane and, and proved that the show can go above and beyond to make an excellent show. Like, they really went they really went in deep with this one and then they they did it again with the season 2 episode 16 which is the season 2 finale and they did absolutely incredible um everything that did go wrong that could go wrong did go wrong <laughs> um in the story not not that the show's hot mess because it's not has great storytelling, but you'd have to watch it to get it. And there was a point where I freaked out during the season finale of Siren. Um, I, I cried, bald like a baby, like ugly cried. It was terrible. Um, and then just ridiculous with the twists and turns and the season finale. Um, can't say enough about the season finale. Either one of them, because I really, really loved the mid-season finale a lot. That could have, that was so good, it could have acted as a series finale if I wanted to, but obviously, Siren is so great. And I really, really hope that Freeform does not mess up anything that has to do with Siren. I really hope that they do continue to put forth the effort into continuing the show. I mean, because hey, if you don't want it, hopefully the CW picks it up. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, I really wish that Freeform would release the show on Blu-ray and DVD make some more money, um, I don't know, uh, make posters and merchandise and stuff so your network can make money and to make the show more popular because it deserves all the recognition, all the recognition that it gets because it is that good. Ben, Maddie, and Ren, and Helen are, those are, Those are my peeps, so. <laughs> um, I absolutely love all, all four of them. Um, and I do love uh, Maddie's uh, dad. Um, and I'm beginning, at first I really, really didn't like Ben's mom, but I do like her more now. Um, I never liked his dad. Uh... I I hate 
hate um, the two friends there. Ugh, I wish that they were just... If anybody dies in the show, it better be the two friends there. Like the... Xander, or whatever his name is, and the other friend there. They're absolutely worthless to the story. They're... I just... I don't like them at all. And I'm... And I'm not taking anything away from the actors. The actors do good. Okay? But the characters that the writers have written are terrible and annoying and worthless. With that being said, it also is really cool that, um, that Freeform does special effects and goes big when needed instead of trying to look like a big show all the time because it's more of a grounded show and I do like that wholeheartedly that it's a grounded show because it has to do with a small town and everything and I really like the environment I love you know that the pacing the editing the direction of the entire thing uh, that is all good all excellent and shows don't have to be big budget to be amazing. Um, like I said, Freeform has done it intelligently when it's came to Siren, because unless there's a mermaid transformation or something, they really don't need to be spending a lot, so hopefully that prolongs the show and helps it. Even though the transformations are cool, okay? Love. I'm actually shocked that Freeform ha did the special effects that they did for the mermaids because they did a pretty awesome job. But, like, it's not... I can understand why... Well, I can and can't understand about the whole Shadowhunters thing because Shadowhunters looked like a more expensive show because it had to do with demons and vampires and there was a lot of the special effects in there because you had warlocks and doing magic and stuff like that so there's like magic and everything going on every single episode this one is more this one siren is not like that so it's still getting the ratings in viewership for the network but it's being intelligent with its um it's being intelligent and very um, aware of when to use and when not to use, is what I should say, with their budget and special effects and everything. But they, like I said, they should merchandise big time. Um, because this is a really unique show, because how many other shows have mermaids in them? Especially going on right now. None. So. And these are not mermaids like the Little Mermaid. These are actual predatorial creatures. As if they lived in the actual ocean. So. Um, don't come into this thinking that you're getting the Little Mermaid. Because you're absolutely not. So. <laughs> but you are getting a good show. You are getting a, a great story, a progressive story. You are getting really cool special effects um, when needed. And, yeah. And I really, really love that um, Ben, Maddie, and Rin actually love each other. Like, they are in love with each other. And it's very open, very honest. There's no jealousy, none of that crap. Um, it, it, it was just meant to be, and it, it didn't seem forced at all, it felt very natural, it's something that I can root for, and hopefully they release many more seasons, and hopefully the network gets intelligent, and decides to release them on DVD and Blu-ray, or 4K, but we won't get picky, um, <clears throat> 
so I mean if you do it I'll fork them for my money for it so there's that um, but that's all that I pretty much have to say about it it's it just feels like the show doesn't get the recognition that it deserves and I feel like it should get put on a massively bigger platform or get exposed more <clears throat> Because I think that once people start to tune in and it clicks, I think that it has so much potential to be such a huge show. I mean, yes, it's on a very itty-bitty, tiny little network, but they're, it's their best show. I, I just love it. I did love Shadowhunters, but I didn't love it from the beginning. It was, eh, okay. And then it got good, and then it got really, really, really good by the third season. This one was good right off the get-go, and it just keeps getting better. But we're only in the second season, people. But, um, they're doing fantastic, so. And they blew my mind with the finale of the second season, so. They really they're on a roll, so I cannot wait to see what season 3 has to bring and offer, and I just, I'm so excited, but anyway guys, I'm gonna let you go, let you go, oh, it's been a long day, I'm gonna let you go, and make sure you give my video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and have a good night everybody.